Hello everyone, it's Ben from the Jay to give you a Blue Round video. This is for the past two weeks um, that I haven't been very well, so this is I'm behind on the Blue Rounds, and I'm not, I haven't filmed uh, this week's with Hunger Games The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes because I haven't had time, but I do have the 4K to unbox in another video. First up is the for sale section in Agent V a few weeks ago. There was a 9.99 box set of all the Shrek movies. I was trying to find this on Blu-ray a few months ago, but I couldn't. I could only get the import with the um, uh, Puss in Boots movies. But this is just all the Shrek movies, so I thought I'd show it off. Um, it's quite a nice set, actually, but there's still no Blu-rays. Next up, I'm just having a quick look around to see what else we can see. A few Doctor Who's in there. Um, again, here we go. Spider-Man through the Spider-Verse. That's literally this year, so it's not bad. Um, what did I pick up here? I can't see. Um, turn it around, Ben. And what have we got? We got Strays for $9.99 on Blu-ray. This is like a Ted movie, but with dogs. I quite enjoyed it. Next up, I thought was pretty good for $19.99. $10.99, sorry. $10.99 was two Sonic movies on Blu-ray, which I thought was brilliant for $9.99. Um, $10.99. Well, can't even get a price right. $10.99. For $10.99, two... Um, Sonic movies on Blu-ray. thought it was a great price for two great movies, really. And you get the special features, and the back isn't too bad. So, I like both movies, actually. I can't wait for the third at the end of the year. Can't going to be a busy year, actually, at the end of the year with all the movies. Next up, we have the first release of a couple of weeks ago, and it is the Church of Ruby Road. Is that the name of the Doctor Who episode of the new Doctor and Companion? Um, yeah, it was a Christmas special of 2023. I did like it, and the price wasn't too bad either. $9.99 for the Blu-ray, I believe the price was. And I didn't think that was too bad for one episode of a Blu-ray bundle. They couldn't really charge too much. I think it used to be $12.99, so they dropped the price. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the Blu-ray. And here is the DVD. No difference. Both got slip covers. Um, just one was Blu-ray, one was DVD. No change on the slipcover, both have slip covers, so if you're cutting your DVD, oh, that was only $8.99 as well, so it's not really much difference, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I did like the episode, um, we'll wait to see how the series goes, considering that um, um, the companion is reported to be leaving already. Next up is Past Lives, already in sale. Um, haven't seen this movie, but it is already off. On Amazon, I think it is, or is it Amazon? I think it's already on Amazon. You can watch it on there already. Um, so yeah, there's, there's. I don't know what this is. Um, it was at the cinema, but I didn't see it. But it's supposed to be pretty good. I think it's about two people coming together or p crossing paths or something. Um, but it's it's a pretty good movie. I've I've heard. So I just thought I'd show that it's a new release. Um. I'm trying to zoom in on special features, but my phone wasn't playing ball, unfortunately. Next up is the Past Lives on DVD. Again, same cover, not too bad. I like the kind of pale blue storminess of it, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, is it, I think it's is it a different cover. Um, the special features are the same, amazingly. So, if you want to get the DVD, get that. Nine ninety nine, not too bad price, standard price. Next up is the Miracle Club with um, a decent cast. I think this even has Maggie Smith in it. So, not even heard of this one. I was quite tempted to pick this up, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, um, you can read the blurb there. As you know, I'm not very good at reading blurbs, but it's definitely got Maggie Smith in it. So, pretty good, and it's only eleven ninety nine for the Blu-ray. So, not bad price. Next up is the DVD version. Now, I don't... Ew, the black case kind of... I don't know. They could have put it in a yellow case, couldn't they? There's the DVD version of Miracle Club. So, just turn it over to the back. There's no special features on either of them. So, it is just the movie. So, it is purely on picture quality, whether you get the DVD or Blu-ray. So, yeah, it's your choice. Next up is Old Oak. Again, in the 2 for 16. It's a pretty new movie in a sale already. See... That's the second movie this week that I've seen that has gone straight into a sale, so I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, 
I think this is about a pub in Ireland, I think. So, I think I've seen it on, I think it's Netflix. I think this might be a Netflix film coming soon. I think I've seen it on the coming soon on Netflix. So, if you want a DVD, get it. But I think it's coming to Netflix. So, here we go. Now, this is the reason why I don't go into CEX. Because I was explaining, explaining to Big Pooley the other day on his live stream, on his last live stream he did, that the, there's only games downstairs. So I'm just showing people that it's literally just the games and I can't get upstairs being that I'm in a wheelchair. And as you saw the stairs coming in. So it's literally games all the way down. Um, games, games, games. And then, so I can't get to the, the Blu-rays at all. There was a couple of like 4Ks at the bottom. I don't know what they were doing there. But they were there. But um is Xbox and PS5 and Switch and there was a few there was a few box sets down the bottom here but they were just random. Um a couple of 4Ks there but nothing brilliant. Yeah I just wanted to show you why I don't go into my local CEX. The Asian branch is different, it's all on one level, but the Eastbourne branch where I mainly go to HMV because ironically the HMV and Hastings is shut because it keeps flooding, so I don't go over there that often. So now we're going to move on to this past week where we have a 3D release of Avatar randomly showing up. I know we've got the 4K of the Way of Water special edition coming up with 8 hours of special features. But the releasing the 3D, you know, not bad. Only 20 quid as well, so it's cheaper than a 4K. So, you know, not quite. could you redo 3D with 3D 4K? Or is that not possible with the light changes of it? So, not sure, but, you know, you could, you know, could you really do, could you do Blu-ray for uh, 4K 3D, possibly? I don't know. Um, I just thought that, yeah, you don't really get 4K on 3D, do you? So, um, next up is The Rifleman, which is a rip-off of The Great Escaper with um Glenda Jackson and Michael Caine. Um this stars um Rupert Brosnan and it's a Sky movie that I haven't seen because I don't have Sky anymore. I have now DV but not with a movie package. So, and um it is basically it looks like a rip off of the Great Escaper. I'm not quite sure why you'd release two movies of the pretty much the same story close together. But it's been about almost a year or, no not even that is it? Yeah, about seven months between each film release, so I'm not sure about that. I think the Pierce, the um, not the, I think the um, Glenda Jackson and Michael Caine movie is possibly better, um, because it's got Michael Caine in it. Next up is the 4K of the Marvels. I don't buy the Marvel movies anymore because they are on Disney Plus, and you know, trying to buy them all 4K is really expensive when they don't have the special features on the back anymore because most of the special features are on Disney Plus with the documentaries. So that's why I refuse to buy the um, 4Ks because you don't give us the special features. Disney, you put them on Disney Plus with the Assemble, um, the, the, uh, uh, Assemble Marvel um, documentaries. So that is why I don't buy the 4Ks or Blu-rays because you refuse to put special features on it. And also, you don't give us the um, um, the um, um, IMAX ratio either. Here is the Blu-ray. Um, it is a fairly good movie, even though, um, um, in a slim case, even though Brie Larson is literally quite bland. Uh, she couldn't um, put feeling into it, into it if she tried. I know Captain Marvel's supposed to be bland and stuff, but I don't know. Nobody saw Miss Marvel like that. Here is the release of the week for me. Um, and that is Beverly Hills Cop 3 on 4K for the first time. Now it comes with a bloody slow cover. So the one thing to say. Can somebody turn off the bloody song? Can somebody turn off the song please? Because you know. I've, I've turned off the song. Because uh, it's got um, a copyright on it. Can somebody turn the fucking song off? I've already turned off the sound. So it's a great some people don't like this movie but i kind of do yes i do miss taggart but still and also we do randomly have um um an avatar still book randomly so we've had the 3d and a still book today um um weird really weird um it is a nice still book but it's a really weird release so not sure what's going on there 
Next up, we have the Beverly Hills Cop 3 collection, 3 movie collection, with um, 1, 2, and 3 in it, funnily enough. I don't know why my camera splits here, but it does. And we've got some more coming up, and um, it's it's basically the standard cover for America, um, with him just standing next to the Beverly Hills Cop sign. So, it's okay. Um, I prefer having it singly, because you get the poster art. I, I wish... Um, Paramount have given the uh, re-released um, the number two with a slipcover, but they haven't. But um, because one has a slipcover and three has a slipcover, but Beverly Hills got two doesn't. So I wish they'd re-release it with a slipcover. So you know, here's the back of it with some shots. So it's you know standard. But we're coming to the end of the video now anyway, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye everybody.